First of all, why is God able to love unconditionally? Why is God able to love unconditionally? Why? Just for like half a minute, ponder this for yourself. Just ask this question. How come God is able, God is, if we view God as a sentient existence, a sentient being, meaning it's alive, it exists, it's aware, it's awake, it's intelligent, infinity. It's an infinity that's intelligent, that's self-comprehending, that's aware, it knows that it is, right? So if we view this creator, this source, as an alive existence, that has no particular form, it encapsulates everything, it includes everything, it permeates everything, it ultimately creates everything, everything that we can co-create with, all those components are created by the creator, by source, by this intelligent infinity. But how come specifically, if we view God as a sentient being, how come, why is God able to love unconditionally? And it might help you with this question to for a moment, picture God again as a living being, maybe even as a human being. If God was a human being, why or how come that that being is able to love unconditionally? What is the requirement? What's the basis? All right, let's bring it back to your own experience. Let's take the glimpses that you've had of what was closest to unconditional love out of all the experiences, out of all the states of consciousnesses that you have ever embodied. Take a moment. It doesn't have to be a profound moment if you don't believe you've had one or if you can't remember it just like that. But take a moment where you were the most loving you've ever been that you can currently recall, where you felt the most just naturally, freely, automatically generous in your love, where there was no expectation of return. There was no need for the other person to validate or appreciate you for your actions or for simply being loving. Now, in that state, when you were most generous in your loving, what was at the foundation of that? What was your experience before you were able to be able to do that? What was the prerequisite, the requirement, so to speak? What state of being were you in? What state of consciousness were you in that was different from perhaps your state right now or five minutes ago? You were free, weren't you? You felt free. Another word you could give this is powerful. You felt powerful. You could say you felt free, therefore you felt powerful, or you could say you felt powerful and therefore you felt free. But because you were powerful and free, you were able to love without expectation. You were able to love without judgment or bias. You were able to give without any notion that you're even giving. You were just radiating. You were just being. You were automatically loving. One way to define God's love is it's automatic love. It's something that you're not doing. You can't do it. Now you can, you can surf on that wave. You can glide on that airstream, if you will, but you cannot do it. So if you view yourself as a human, like an airplane, you can sort of glide on that, or let's use a different example. Let's say a bird like an eagle, as they kind of hover on those air currents. It's like that. The bird doesn't do the flying. It kind of just allows for the flying. So in a similar way, you cannot really do unconditional love. You cannot really love as God loves, but God already loves, and you can tap into this automatic love. But what it requires on your end is that you feel free and powerful. 